Okay, I'm going to show you how to clean your Traxxas T-Max or any natural RC car. I'm just going to be displaying it with the T-Max. And, um, yeah. Things you're going to need are a hose. I've heard some people use, um, uh, the little nozzle in their sink. You do a squirt bottle. Whatever you got will work. I use the hose. And simple green, something that'll clean it. You could use 409, um, nitro cleaner. I use simple green. I think it works the best. But first I'm going to show you how to prep it for cleaning it off. This is a water clean. You use the hose. You use cleaning material, hose it off, put it all back together. I mean, I didn't do this when I first got my car because I thought it was going to mess up the electronics, but as long as you take the right precautions and you don't, like, pound it with high-pressured water, you should probably be fine. I've done this for about a year now, and it works good. I've done it on this car several times, probably 30, 40 times, and um, it uh, stays in good condition. All right, so I'm going to show you uh, in a second here how to prep your car. Alright, as you can see here, I got my battery box. First thing you want to do is take out these two screws. Right here and back here. Alright, take the screws out. Might have a receiver hub pack. Um, double A's. Mine just has the double A holder. As you can see, I already took the double A's out. This is one thing you want to do so no electricity is moving through your electronics. Okay, now next thing you want to do is open up your receiver box. Take that off. Inside you're going to have a receiver. It looks something like this. You got your three little um, plugs to go into it. Make sure you remember the order the plugs are in. I just go ahead and tape them just so no water gets in the terminals of the plugs so they don't rust or corrode or anything. And so you're going to want to take this out move this aside and so it should look like that just your little terminals taped up nice and good so no water gets in and rust your uh, terminals on it the connections and that's all you need for the next thing you want to do is make sure that your engine is sealed first thing you want to do is take your glow wrench make sure your glow plugs nice and tight mine's tight and secure um... then you're going to want to plug your carburetor in some way. You can put a little rubber cap over it if you got one of those. I don't have one so I just um, seal up the carb. I'll show you that next. Alright now since I already have this one all sealed up and ready to go I don't want to take it apart. I'm going to show you on a different one. Different air cleaner. Now first thing you want to do is going to take some duct tape. Cut a small strip about yay long. Rip it, and then uh, on this particular one, I just go ahead and put it on like that, and then wrap it around, and it just seals to the plastic part. Make sure it's nice and dry, there's no dirt on it. Be like that, make sure it's all sealed up all around. Alright, and then take a little plastic baggie, like this. Just put this inside air cleaner inside there and then seal it around the bottom zip it shut Make sure this thing can still poke out and then just go ahead and wrap that around a few times and tape that another piece of tape right there and you just go ahead and put it on your carb like that make sure you put a zip tie and that's nice and tight sealed so it's not going to fall off because you do not want to get water in your engine, that's bad. So this is why you want to seal it up. And uh, just make sure all your bolts plug over your exhaust. Stick a paper towel in there or wrap some tape around it. I don't know, whatever you want to do to keep that closed. Make sure your gas tank's nice and sealed so no water can get in there. Now you're ready to go. All set and ready. Alright, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your 
your car, you know, it's got the wheels on it. And what you're going to want to do is take the wheels off before you hose it down because water can get in there and get inside the foams and really unbalance your wheels and that's not good and it shakes and you're going down the road. And so, and that also, it's not really good for the glue to go through water. And it's just, you don't want to get water in your wheels. So what you want to do is go ahead and take all the wheels off. Just uh, put a nut driver, glow plug wrench, wrench, whatever you got. Go ahead and take the nut off, and it should pull right off, just like that. There's your wheel. Okay, so I'm going to take mine out to the yard and clean it. Now, a few things you want to watch out for is don't get water, simple green, whatever you're using down in here on the servos. Just trying to get it on the servo. A dusting of water isn't going to hurt it, that's okay. Now, you don't want to spray water in this hole. Make sure that's plugged. Make sure all you, this is plugged, your transmission's plugged, your... Uh, Just kind of spray it around. Get it on the engine, try and get it off the cooling fins, get it on the suspension arm. Okay, now I'm going to start hosing the town. See, I got my hose here. Now what you don't want to do is go like that and compact it, okay? You just want to... None of this. None of that. Just want a light dusting. Once again, you know, you don't want to spray directly at your electronics. Go ahead and get all your suspension arms, plastic. And then, uh, again, try not to get the brake disc. Cool. Go ahead and hose it down. Get it nice and uh, hose off. Don't try and spray directly at the um, electronics or anything. You get your engine be careful. Not to get any uh, water inside your carburetor. Just be careful. Alright, now once you're done hosing it off and spraying it, it's going to go ahead and take a little rag here. Let's wipe it down, get all the water off of the uh, suspension arm, stuff like that, I know. Don't water spots on it, that doesn't look good. So just get it all out of your um, receiver box there. Just wipe everything down, you know. Let's get all the leftover water off, it's going to be on your... Okay, now once you've done that, you're going to want to take uh, your air clean off. It'll come off here. Alright, it's off. Let's go ahead and unwrap it. Get all this stuff off. Alright. If there's a little water in your Ziploc, you know, don't worry about it. The tape is your main line of defense here. Go ahead and try and peel that off. Underneath, your filter should be nice and dry, like mine is. Got a little water, don't worry about it. As long as this is dry down here, you know, nothing got into your, uh... As long as in there is dry, nothing got into your motor, so you're good. And, um... So that's good. You're going to want to go ahead and clean that afterwards, just in case any water did get on it. You don't suck, be sucking water into your engine, so go ahead and clean that. Clean what we want to do now is take your liquid wrench, 3rd 40 whatever you got. Let's go ahead and spray down your bearings, both sides. Make sure your bearings are lubricated up here by your differentials. One side there. This works better with a straw, but I lost my straw, so make do with what I got. <laughs> 